My sister Marisa Silver stole $100,000 in cash from my father's safe deposit box. When a crime is committed, many people look at the means, motive, and opportunity. Let me discuss those in detail. As for means, my sister had the safe deposit box key. She manipulated my father for him to ask me for the key. She was on the signature card. Certainly, that is the means. In terms of the motive, people say she's a chiropractor and Jeff Eisenberg, her husband, owns a small business, so they're both doing well. I'm going to show you that they weren't in the financial condition that people thought. This is a printout of what Marisa Silver and Jeff Eisenberg owed in back taxes. So even though they drive BMWs that they lease every three years, they couldn't afford to pay their taxes. Let's discuss the opportunity. My father could not make it to the safe deposit box on his own. He needed assistance at that time. The only access to the safe deposit box, Citibank and Lake Success Shopping Center was to walk down a flight of stairs. I've established the three criteria that many people look at for a crime. Now people will say, was there $100,000 in the safe deposit box? Let's discuss why I know there was. First, I have seen the money. Second, my father would put his money in different envelopes. They were business size, manila colored. He would also write down on top of the envelope how much money was in it. And here's a photo of that. I prompted my father to go check the safe deposit box because Marisa Silver and Jeff Eisenberg had stolen from me. They had looted my storage bin. At that point, my father had a clear mind. He told me when he came back that Marisa told him, you know, there are only envelopes and letters in the box. People are supposed to believe my father held on to a safe deposit box since 2006 for some meaningless letters and envelopes. Isn't this a contradiction of why my sister was so keen on getting the safe deposit box key? Another sign was when my father came back to his apartment, he sobbed on his bed. And I was able to see the signature card at Citibank. And there was three visits. My father only knew of two. My father did ask Jeff Eisenberg, six foot seven, who was standing at the foot of my father's bed about the theft. And Jeff Eisenberg was yelling at him at the top of his lungs, denying it. I later spoke to my father. He told me he felt intimidated, as would most bedridden 88 year olds. Now there's also another missing $50,000 in cash from my father's apartment. The $150,000 in cash, which is missing, were in small packets and all the $100 bills were in sequential order. Also the vintage was from 1980 to 1982. So it's very difficult to launder that money. People will notice it. And the problem here is that Adult Protection Services knew about this. The Queens District Attorney knew about this. The Laura Woods, who I spoke with, Karen Minto, and Sue Ann Phillips knew about this, and they did nothing. Again, you're enabling this behavior.